Welcome back everyone. As summertime approaches, it means more time outdoors and something we see plenty of kids doing, particularly in rural areas, is hitting the trails on their Hoff Highway vehicles. Today we're talking with North Dakota Parks and Recreation's trail coordinator, Sarah Torgerson, about making sure those kids are playing it safe. Good morning. Good morning. Well, this is such an important topic. Oh, definitely. Yes, definitely. for sure. So can you tell us about the important OHV training coming up? So throughout the summer, we have multiple OHV classes across the state for kids to go to, mm -hmm. where they're able to go and learn how to operate an ATV in a safe manner. Yeah. And they also, if they attend the in-person classes, they're able to get a free helmet as well, which is super important for pre preventing those injuries and lifelong uh, brain injuries, especially. Yes, it certainly is. Okay, and then OHV is off-highway vehicle? That's correct, okay, off-highway vehicle. And <laughs> specifically those four-wheelers are what we target with those classes. Yes, definitely. So what really kids' ages do you recommend to go to this training? So this training is actually required for kids to ride on any land oh, wow. that their parents don't own. So okay. it's specifically for children that are about 12 to 15 until they get their driver's license or learner's permit. Okay. And like I said, it's actually required to get the certificate to be able to operate no OHV in those right of ways yeah. or on public lands or any of our recreation areas. Okay, interesting. I feel like a lot of people, especially in rural areas, might not be aware of that. We definitely try very hard yeah. to educate people, and so I'm really glad we were able to come on today to talk about it. Yes, definitely. So I know that you actually teach the classes. How many students do you accept in each class? We have eight students per class Okay. because they're actually riding and it's hands-on, and so yeah. we can only have so many at a time and okay. some of it would be safe. Yeah, so then you have kind of a lot of individual time with the students then, right? We do. We yeah. usually have one to two instructors for every class, okay. and so it's really great, and we really have some good time to teach kids. Yeah, so walk me through. What does the class really look like? So we start, all the kids show up. We get them fitted for their helmets. Mm -hmm. um, usually their waivers are signed online beforehand. Yep. And then we bring them in, we get started, and we take students from learning how to use a brake and the throttle all the way through some really advanced maneuvers like swerving and quick stops. Okay, very interesting. And that's the video that we are looking at right now, correct, as a class? That's correct, okay. yes. That's uh, one of our other instructors teaching a class, I believe in Bismarck. Yeah, and like you said, yes, very hands-on, wow. Yep, they're riding pretty much the whole time. Okay. Um, and it's a lot of, again, learning how to yes. avoid those tip overs and those rolls that create the worst and most dangerous accidents yeah, on ATVs. Definitely very important. So how does someone get signed up for these classes and where are they held? They can go to parkrec.nd.gov mm -hmm. and at that location um, they can click on the OHV safety and go through the link there and they're able to go through our show clicks website to sign up for a class for free. Yeah. And they're located all over the state mm -hmm. in both rural and urban areas so you can just find the class that's nearest to you. I would encourage people to sign up soon because okay. uh, they always fill up really, really fast. Yeah, well, that is good to know. Well, this really seems like an incredibly important safety training. I mean, these machines are nothing to take lightly, right? Absolutely not. They can go very quickly. They can really cause very dangerous really horrible accidents yeah. if you're not careful and you don't know how to ride them in a safe manner. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so one more time, can you remind us of how to get signed up? So you wanna make sure that you go to parkrec.indy.gov and then you will go to the OHV safety mm -hmm. link there on that website and you can get to the show clicks to sign up and buy a ticket from there. Or Sign up for a ticket. Yes. It's a free course. So. <laughs> All right. Well, wonderful. And why would you really recommend folks to sign themselves up or their kiddos? We would strongly encourage them to sign their kids up, yep. um, honestly, to avoid fatalities and injuries. Yep. We've seen a massive decrease in youth fatalities over the past few years, and we really want that trend to continue. Yeah, we want to get that number to zero, huh? For sure, yes, for sure. Certainly very important. Well, thank you so much for coming on and sharing this information with us. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Yes, of course. All right, everyone stick around. We have more North Dakota today coming right up after this short break.